Hey, what's up guys? Uh, <clears throat> I was just doing some inventory and counting rounds and all kinds of good stuff like that and uh, I found something I thought it was very dangerous so I wanted to uh, address it and make a video about it. Um, this is uh, some HPR ammo. So you can see for a while now what I've done for, for storage for ammo and especially for my range bag. Not necessarily for storage in the house but when I go to the range I'll take a couple boxes of ammo and um, I'll put it in a bag like this to save room and what I've always done whatever container I transport it to I always take you know a piece of the box that gives me all the information I need it tells me exactly what kind of ammo the size this one uh, in you know specifically is a 115 grain full metal jackets from HPR in 9 millimeter Luger um, but I found a problem I was just kind of counting my rounds to see where I'm at and I found this now this is a live round, and because of the way this was stored, and I can tell you it's because it's how it's stored. It's not from HPR, because when I put the ammo in here, I actually individually checked every single round, because these were reloads, and I want to make sure there weren't any problems. And I guarantee you, it wasn't like this when I put it in the bag. I have gone to the range probably four times since I've put the ammo in the bag like this. Um, it's been jostled around. You know, just back and forth. They bump into each other like this. This is very dangerous. Um, you might be able to spot this when you're loading up magazines, but let's say you don't. Let's say, you know, maybe you're in a hurry. Maybe you're rushing. Maybe you're talking to someone while you're loading at the range or something like that. If you miss this, and you put this in your gun, and you chamber this and you fire it, there's a chance you could have a lot of problems. Okay, obviously, what's happened here is from being jostled around, the, the, uh, the actual bullet itself has been lodged further down into the casing. Okay, now if I were to actually shoot this round as is, it maybe will work, maybe it won't, maybe it, there's too much pressure now that it's lodged down in the casing, maybe the gun explodes, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things that can happen. Obviously, I'm not going to shoot this round, I'm actually going to, after the video, uh, take it apart and uh, you know deprime it and all that kind of stuff. Um, I know it's not the safest thing in the world. Some people throw them in uh, oil. Actually, I just watched a video from uh, uh, Pete, the Armory Channel, and he was saying to deactivate bullets, throw them in a can of, uh, of motor oil or something, something similar, leave it there for a couple days or at least 24 hours, and it'll deactivate the primer so it won't shoot. What I actually do is um, I take pliers and gently take the bullet out. I remove the powder, I dump the powder out, and then I just uh, I shoot just the primer so that when I throw in the garbage there's no way anything's gonna happen it's a guaranteed way to uh, to do it but I do not suggest and please hear me again I do not suggest anyone trying that for themselves I'm just telling you what I do uh, it's not a very safe way to do it but I was never taught how to do it I mean what do you do when you get like squib rounds or not squib rounds but what do you do when you get faulty rounds everyone has their own way of getting rid of them um, but I feel that's the safest it's just my opinion Anyway, I just want to make this video to show you guys this is not the best way to store your ammo. I mean, they come in boxes for a reason, so they're not jostled. They're not, you know, they're not, this isn't going to happen. Okay, so I think for the future, I'm not going to store it like this. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've done this since I've gotten into guns. It's the first time I ever had a problem. So, I mean, I'll continue to carry the ammo that I have in here like this, but I'll be... Be sure as heck to uh, to double check everything before I load up. Okay, so having having your actual bullet, you know, either stick in too much or it's falling out. I mean, it, it's definitely an issue. It's something you want to be very very careful not to load up and actually shoot. So anyway, I just want to make a video on that. Um, be very careful. Every single time you load around into your gun, whether it's a semi-automatic, a revolver, you know, rifle, pistol, shotgun, whatever, examine your ammo. Okay, look at it the best you can. Don't just assume that every bullet you put in there is just going to work fine. Okay, because something like this can happen to anyone and it can be a huge, dangerous problem. So I just want to make a video just addressing that. That's all. Just be careful, guys. We tend to have a lot of fun shooting guns and stuff, but you know, safety first. And the second you forget about that, it's the second that something bad's going to happen. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Take care.